All right, guys, here is 1427 Cherry Lake. Now, this is a cabin that I've seen and driven past for years and years and always wondered what the big house on the hill is. Well, oddly enough, this is it. And shame on me for not coming here sooner to check this thing out, but this house is pretty damn cool. First of all, um, you have a, a neighbor right through there. You have tons of parking, okay? This is a huge house. I just walked through it for my first time and it is huge. So I want you to kind of remember this outside area and this deck will, I'll show you kind of how all this connects in a little bit. Um, I'm gonna apologize because we're not gonna get, it's, it's raining here this morning and it's foggy, but you do get a mountain view um, through here. So when you're on the decks through this side, through this area, you can get some, some great views, uh, but tons of parking. Uh, it is a true log, it's a little older. I see where there's some patches. There's some, some exterior things that, you know, you're gonna have to kind of keep an eye on. Uh, like that log right there, you're gonna have to keep that patched and painted. Um, the house is painted, not stained, but I think if you keep it, if you keep it, keep the paint job up, this house will be awesome for a long, 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 long time. So, and again, I tell you guys, this is not a rental, okay? This is a vacation home for, for a family. So, as soon as you walk in, washer dryer area big big washer dryer area okay so that's taken care of then across here you have a half bath downstairs so as soon as you walk in a half bath for the main living space kitchen here you got stainless the fridge i mean hardwood i mean yeah i'll, I'll turn around and show you great granite here Looks awesome. I love this huge table. And then you have a mega vaulted ceiling three stories up. You can probably hear the echo of me talking. This room is humongous. It's spectacular. I love the canoe they have there. There's a lofted area there as well. This is a true log. So... And you know what? I kind of like the fact this area is so big. You get everybody down here talking. They just got a little TV over the bar, you know, if somebody wants to sit here and watch TV. But for the most part, this is the family hanging out. You know, bring your board games up here if you wanted to, that type thing. Um, this is a wood burner, and I don't know enough about it, so I'm not even going to get ignorant on what goes. But a wood burning stove here that's going to put out a good amount of heat if, you know, you want to partake in that. They've got, I love this little round table. This little set here, very, very desirable. Um, the stonework, custom stonework through under there, and again, that custom kind of bar top. So pretty pretty easy um, to, to you know feed people and do all that, hang out area. Now here we're gonna go into the master, okay? I There are a trillion light switches in this house and I can tell you lights have been moved and things like that. So I couldn't get that light to cut on. I'm not saying it doesn't work. The fan works, but I couldn't get the light to come on. I, I didn't want to jump on the bed and pull chains and all that. So, but anyway, king bed fits in here. I mean, this room just engulfs it. So you got plenty, plenty, plenty of room. It also lets out to this deck, which we'll go to later. There is the hot tub there. Now the hot tub, I don't know if it doesn't work or what. It just doesn't have water in it. Um, so I can't really tell you anything about it. Um, the master bath, two sinks, tiled shower, and you got the classic uh, tub that people like. So kind of mix a new school and old school there. Uh, and I'll say this, the hardwood floors are spectacular. It smells good in here, doesn't smell doesn't smell bad. Sometimes you walk in the cabins, they smell bad. This one smells, it's nice and fresh. Uh, and yeah, I'll kind of give you another view of this space. It's huge. This, I don't know how many square feet are here, but it's a lot. Let's take a little tour of the outside area, the deck. So first, big screened in porch area here. Okay. You know, if people want to come and do Christmas dinner, Thanksgiving dinner, hang out here, barbecue, 
perfect place to do it. You got plenty of room to add more seatings, add more table. They just, they've got this one, you know, <laughs> typically in a screened in porch, this is enough seating, but this place is so big, it makes it look small. So, I mean, that's a six seater there and they just got other chairs here that they store um, just to keep them out of the weather. So, right on the deck. I will say the deck has been painted with um, kind of that textured, real thick paint, so it'll last, but it does need a little bit of a pressure washing. Logs look okay. Could use some caulk in areas, just like, you know, just like every house. But massive, massive, massive deck. Um, again, it looks like they've got dish there. I know if you want, um, you can get DS, uh, you've got high speed internet out here. Well, you know, our high speed internet. Uh, and then this wraps around to the uh, hot tub, and I lifted it up earlier, and there's just no water in it. So um, I, I'll have to talk to them and get the skinny on what's going on with the hot water heater. Hard for me to say. I, it smell when I opened it, it doesn't smell like death. It smells like bromine and chlorine. So it tells me that they have been using it. Um, I don't think it's, I don't believe it's dead. Um, and I didn't harp on it, but I will. This is where your mountain view is going to be. And I don't know if you can tell right through there. You can kind of start seeing one of the mountains. It's going to kind of do this through there. Uh, that across the street's not yours, so you'll kind of always have that. Th this is one of those places where in the winter it'll get even better. If it were me, I would have somebody come through here and just do a little bit of light trimming. Cut out the things that are less than 10 years old and pull them away from the house. Uh, but yeah. Man, it is, it, this deck's huge, by the way. I can't stress that enough. Go back in through this door, which takes us right back into here. And we'll go upstairs next, okay? So, one bedroom down here. Now, I will tell you the negative about this house is there's really only two private sleeping areas, bedrooms, okay? And I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So... There's a loft here, which I believe they're counting as a bedroom, which is fine. It's plenty of room. You could put, honestly, across here, if you wanted to, you could put three twin beds and still have this partition. I mean, that's how big the space is. So you could sleep plenty of people up here. Again, it's kind of semi-private. They've got this little partition set up. Um, but it's plenty of space. If you wanted to do a pull-out couch, you could. If you wanted to put a card table up here and a pull-out couch, uh, like a poker um, poker chip table, that type deal would be a perfect place to do it. Heck, you could put it over here. They're not even utilizing this space. So, and then here's another little bedroom. This is the second private bedroom. There's a queen in here, but you could easily fit a king, okay? Easily fit a king in here, no problem. Uh, but again, this is a good-sized bedroom for a cabin. They got this little rinky-dink couch thing here. Ugh, I don't know much about that. And then the bathroom for upstairs. And people were wondering about this. It is an old school shower, but it's, everything's here is solid. Like, I don't think there'd be any problems taking a shower in here. Just get a new shower curtain. Um, and then you just, you step in through here and you take a shower. I mean, it's, it's very, very simple, very simple. Uh, again, I tell people about True Log. This is a byproduct of True Log. No, this is not. You know, once upon a time, you know, where the where the wood, when it's new, when they first build these things, they seep moisture. Well, that has since, you know, has stopped. But that's just old staining, and quite frankly, that's what people like about True Logs is the character of that. So I don't want you to think this is not it's not rotted wood. This is solid, solid, solid wood there. So. Anyway, this is the upstairs with, again, I'll show you another look at that bedroom. And then you have the lofted bedroom, if you want to call it that, lofted area. I mean, it's big enough to call a bedroom. Give you a, another view of the downstairs. Okay. And you have all these windows up here. I mean, it, it really is. This is a special place. This feels special. And then... Let's go down to the basement. Now, I walked in and I saw the dog bowls. I was like, uh-oh, 
am, am I going to smell dog? Is, is it going to be weird in here? Absolutely not. I think they bring the doggos over for the weekend every now and then, and that's it. So I don't, I don't really feel or see any signs of, you know, excessive wear from a dog or anything. It, it doesn't, it doesn't smell like dog either. Not to me. And I'm not a dog owner. So usually I'm pretty sensitive to that. All right. Now here is the basement. This place is huge. Okay. So I don't even know. I'm going to kind of slowly walk around it. Full size pool table is just dwarfed in this room. They got some pretty crappy couches in the bed situation. Isn't that creative? Um, but it can work. So they've got a, I believe that is a king bed, a twin bed, and another twin. There is a full-size couch and a full-size couch, and this area just dwarfs it. I'm going to kind of walk around and kind of just give you an idea of the scope and size of this place, but until you get down here, you really won't understand it. You got uh, your air handler in here, HVAC. Um, it's plenty, you know, it feels cool down here. It feels good. Uh, all along this wall, I was kind of wondering what all these accordion doors wore, are. So really what they have is just, just shelving put in there. Okay. All there is is really shelving. Um, here, this is just a uh, closet underneath the, you know, the Harry Potter closet underneath the uh, stairwell. And then the full bath. So they've got a tiled shower, custom tiled shower in there. Now they do have a, they run a dehumidifier as a lot of cabins this size would do. Um, I would get a newer dehumidifier. Not that there's anything wrong with that one. That one's just old and they just have the hose running in there and, um, you really wouldn't have to do it that much, but they do it. Matter of fact, they don't even have it cut down low. Um, but it's just something people like to do to take, keep a little bit of the humidity out. You got a nice little storage area here where you could put all your board games and whatnot. They've got linens down here. Uh, let's step outside breaker box okay and if you remember this okay it's just a you know now we're going to the dirt now if you ever wanted to put more patio down here more decking very easily could there's a ton more space i'm gonna lean over here to where you can kind of see if you ever wanted to put more decking out here by god you could do it very very easily um and then you have this stairwell that walks That'll take you right back into the um, to the screened-in porch. So that's about it. I mean, I said, you know, this this door is not in great shape. It's it's been beat to hell. I would probably replace that. Maybe even this door. It's a solid wood door. Um, you know what? Probably just needs it. You know, I'm gonna be honest with you. The house needs a handful of just little minor things done to it like the little weather stripping below the doors and there's a lot of just old handles that probably need to be replaced um but man the bones about this and i just if if you could bring this place really to life i mean it's awesome as it is but i'm just saying okay we got a great pool table it's an okay pool table it's a good enough pool table man you put shuffleboard along that wall you could put i mean you can put an arcade right there i mean there is just you could do so much you could do air hockey over here uh they've actually they've got darts set up there but th there's so much room down here you could do i mean you could make this thing into something just one of a kind literally one of a kind if you wanted to do it um, and, and had the vision. So this, this house offers you that opportunity to do something really special because it is so stinking big. And I'm going to leave you with a shot of the living room and this cool place. Cause this is going to be where everybody wants to hang out and as it should be, because it is a spectacular room and that's it. This is 1427 Cherry Lake. It's in Cherry Log pretty easy drive it's paved 99 percent of the way you've got to last probably i don't know third, uh, two tenths of a mile is gravel and it's is super simple and that's it if you got any questions or comments just let me know